Hey guys, welcome back to your own channel Technical Sahil. Guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how we can install Kali Linux GUI on cloud based servers. And for this video, I'll be using Linode because currently Linode is the only provider among all other providers like DigitalOcean, Volta, etc. is the only provider who is providing the official images and distributions of Kali Linux. No such provider rather than Linode is currently providing. So in this video also, we are going to use Linode. And as you can see, I have already logged in into my Linode account. So firstly, we need to create an instance of CLI of Kali Linux. Linux. and for this we need to click this create button and create Linode now there are two methods either we can use the marketplace or we can use the command section so in this video we'll see the method of command line interface because it would be easy for you especially if we run if we want to run GUI then obviously we need to run few commands even we use marketplace so we will use the normal method in this video without any marketplace and for this we first need to choose a distribution and as you can see Kali Linux here so we need to select the Kali Linux and region we can select any region like I am going with Atlanta now guys there are four different types of server they are offering dedicated CPU shared CPU higher memory and GPU of course the price differentiation you can see but the resources also you can see and here I want to recommend you a few things like Kali Linux is a very light weight operating system no doubt about that but Kali Linux includes n number of tools like you may know if you have used Kali Linux and if you are watching this video to install Kali Linux so Kali Linux can be used for various purposes like there are tons of penetration tools and map tools and lot more tools so whether if you are doing for just learning purpose you can choose any light server but if you want to work with Kali Linux whether you are learning Kali Linux or you want to perform some operations inside the Kali Linux I recommend you to choose a good machine because if you choose a 5 to 10 dollar machine it will run a bit slow because it concluded a lot of tools inside the Kali Linux package so it's not a good idea to choose the shared CPU with a 5 or 10 dollar monthly so Rather than you can choose shared CPU but uh, with the great specifications. For this video I am going with this $20 server which is providing 4 GB RAM and dual core CPU. So I am selecting this 4 GB. Label you can write anything here or you can just leave it default. Root password we need to select. So we have to make a strong password. I think this password will work. Yes, yeah, strength is good. Now we can either select all these options or we can leave these options, does it matter? And we just need to create Linode. Now it may take some time for provisioning, especially if it is Kali Linux because it will install all the tools, the packages which comes with the Kali Linux. So it may take some time. Till then we have to wait. So our server is active now if we want to check by copy the IP from here so either we can use their uh, leash console but I am not comfortable with their web console so I will open this in a putty we have to paste the IP here and click open
I think the server is not ready yet. It is running some installation in the background. Yeah. We have to check either it is ready or not. Yes, it is installing. It is still running in the background. I don't know what is happening with the console. Let me try reboot this system. Okay, let me launch Lish console again. Yeah, I think now it is perfect. Yes, now we can open and login the server in Putty. The password is this, we need to copy from here and press enter. Now this is Kali Linux but this is CLI means command based system. We need to install GUI means graphical user interface and for this we need to run few commands. And for commands, I'll provide this link in the description below. I have written all the commands here. We just need to copy and paste one by one. First, as I always said in my video, whenever we get a fresh server, it's highly recommended to update the pre-existing packages on that server. So run this command, apt update and press enter. Now we need to install this XFCE environment for the desktop. Either we can use Mate, but XFCE is the better one. So we need to paste this command and press enter. Type Y and press enter.
so guys our xfse environment has been installed now we need to install this xrdp to get login through our rdp client so we need to install this xrdp type y and press enter now we need to start the service by copy this command from here and paste it here and press enter and again we need to run this command to enable it now we can close this and we can open the same thing in our rdp client and for this we need to first copy the ip from here and in the windows search rdp and we simply need to open this remote desktop connection paste the same ip here click show more options username is root check this allow me to save credentials and click save and before connect let me copy the password so click connect and we need to provide the password here and click ok now as you can see our GUI environment of Kali Linux on this Linode machine has been installed created successfully it will take some time to boot up but it will not take much time if you are if you have taken the high configuration server So here it is, it has loaded the Kali Linux GUI and now we can see the icons. This is Firefox, this is I guess a terminal. But yeah, in this way we can install Kali Linux, the steps are same. And let me tell you one more thing, the steps I showed you in this video will only work with Linode right now because currently only this is offering the uh, distribution and images of Kali Linux CLI. If you try the same method in DigitalOcean or Volta, it may not work. But yeah, there is still an unofficial method of installing Kali Linux for GUI and CLI in any kind of VPS like just, just you need to have Ubuntu and you can install Kali Linux and if you want to see that methods as well, so make sure sure to subscribe this channel and if you want those videos fast so let me know in the comment section below that's all for this video thanks for watching